Hi, my name is Mike Molly. I work with uh, Champion Real Estate Inspections and my specialty is Phase 1 Environmental Assessments. Uh, we're in the process of doing an exterior assessment right now, walking around the subject property. What we're looking for is evidence of recognized environmental conditions or possibly environmental issues. What we would be looking for is maybe a fill port in the ground, maybe a stack or a vent pipe that would give us an indication that there is, or maybe at some time in the past, an a uh, underground storage tank. Storage of hazardous chemicals uh, in above ground tanks, underground tanks. If they leak, they get into the soil, they may eventually get into the groundwater. Other things that we look at are transformers, types of them, whether they're labeled or not, because transformers contain polychlorinated biphenyls, which, if spilled, can cause environmental problems. We'd like to look at city directories, because city directories are usually a comprehensive list by address. So we can see in 1950, for example, what was at our property, what was adjacent our property. We'll do fence line review and we'll be looking for, again, recognize environmental conditions, possibly a dry cleaner, possibly a gas station. And these are potential problems to our property because things move over the ground and they move under the ground. And basically what we do is we look at distance and topography from our site to determine if there's a potential for a problem from these adjacent sites. Now, one of the biggest problems with um, older properties, and especially dry cleaners, is they use a dry cleaning solvent that's called PERC or perchloroethylene, and it is uh, very easily goes through concrete, gets into soil, and eventually gets into groundwater. And it's very, very hard to uh, clean up because it's a halogenated hydro uh, halogenated hydrocarbon. Uh, things that, if there were a release at either of those types of properties could affect our property and affect the sale. I have um, a BS in biology and chemistry, a master's degree in environmental and aquatic science, and a PhD in environmental engineering. I've been doing um, active environmental assessments and investigations for 38 years. So I've had a little bit of experience with everything that uh, you could possibly run about, uh, run into. And uh, I also am an adjunct professor at several universities where I teach environmental science, uh, among other science courses.